Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can recreate this scene by DA edits. So before we start all I want from you is that to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. So let's begin. Alright so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So let's just start with designing our layers. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press Ctrl plus Y to create a solid. I'm just going to call it background and let's move it in here. And then I'm just going to add a gradient ramp effect. So the first uh, design that we are going to do is that we are going to reveal the blue um, color guide. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use the color guides in here to sort of uh, set the coloring. And I'm going to change the ramp shape from linear to radial. And then I'm just going to move the second color to here. So around here should be good. Okay, this is nice. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. And this should be good. And let's change the lines to round. And let's also change the roundness. So we have a round rectangle shape. That's good. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the fill and I'm going to change the type to linear gradient and I'm going to use these two sort of uh, lines to adjust the slider and I'm going to use the color guide that I have in here to set the color or the sort of the color pair. Okay, so this is good. This is our first scene. And let's just adjust it a bit towards here and let's just increase its size a bit. Okay, that is good. Now, what we are going to do on the next step is that we need to transform this blue into a red color as you have saw in the preview. So what we need to do is that we need to duplicate this layer, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to place it in here. Around here should be good. However, let's just bring it on top for a second so we can just change its color. So I'm just going to select the layer 2. Let's just call this one blue and let's call this one red. And what I'm going to do is that let's just, just change its color label as well. And I'm just going to select the first color and I'm going to use the red color like this. Okay, now I'm going to bring it down to here. Okay, that's good. Now, let's just add a new camera. And one node is fine. And let's just turn these layers into 3D. And we don't... Let's just turn into... Let's change the color guard into a guide layer. So it doesn't get rendered. And let's just push it on top. So let's just hide it. For now, we don't need it. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the camera. So we have a right view in here. Let's just turn it off. We don't need this one for this video. It's just too simple. All right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the camera. And after a while, let's say around two seconds, I'm just going to uh, go around like, let's say 80 frames forward. And I'm going to drag the camera down like this, right? around here should be good and then what I'm going to do is that uh, let's just zoom in a bit when it's in the middle I'm just gonna select the blue layer I'm gonna set a position keyframe and I'm gonna move it up so we actually get rid of the layer and then I'm just gonna apply the standard easings so something like this now we need to work on easings right now the easings is too fast so we can either the uh, increase the distance between the keyframes so this is gonna make it a bit better okay this is good great now the key point of this video is that we need to sort of color morph the background which is pretty easy so what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna select the background 
and I'm gonna reveal the color guide so we can see it and then what I'm going to do when it's in here I'm just gonna click on start color and end color to set a keyframe and then on here I'm just gonna change the color to reddish color okay so this is not what we want let's just swap the colors this is too mm, I'm sorry I just mm, picked the wrong color so now this is good okay now what I need to do is that I just need to change the end ramp which is right now as you see we have some start ramp and end ramp right now as you see the start ramp is set on here so we need to change it so what I'm going to do is that when it's in here I'm just gonna say click on start ramp to set a keyframe and then when it's in here I'm just gonna move it towards here All right so this is good and now let's just apply the standard easings that was all great all right now we need to do the same step for the um, third layer so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to duplicate this layer let's just change its color to uh, yellow so I'm just going to select it I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool the second one I'm just going to do this and then I'm just going to move it again on here and again we're going to do this step quickly I'm just going to let's say around here I'm just going to set a keyframe so we don't have any keyframe in between and then I'm just going to push down the camera and again when it's in here I'm just going to select the this one is yellow so let's just color label it and I'm just gonna change the red also uh, and then I'm just gonna press P to reveal the position and then I'm just gonna push this one a bit up something like this and let's just not forget to reveal the background we don't want any color change in here so we're just gonna set these keyframes in here and when it's in here what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna push the start ramp to here and then I'm just gonna change the color of the start ramp and end ramp to a yellow like this so we will have something like this so this was all so as you see it was very very simple we don't need this color guide anymore we can just delete it all right now the fun part we need to sort of make it in, in a DA edit style term so what I'm going to do on the first step is that I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to call this one let's just console everything I'm just going to call this one wiggle and I'm going to add a wiggle position expression that's good and let's just set the wiggle speed to 3 and the wiggle amount to 10 so we have some you know black backgrounds in here and transparency in here so we can actually fix that by easily grabbing the background and increasing the overall scale so that is good now what i'm going to do is on the next step is that i'm just gonna add a mm, new adjustment layer and i'm gonna add a posterized time effect so let's just add the posterized time now let's set the frame rate to 30 so now everything is a bit cartoonish right now and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer again and this one I'm going to call it flicker so let's just add the flicker effect by sapphire and by the way I already have explained all of these effects in this video and you can watch it if you like to learn how you can install your reels but for now let's just uh, set the range frequency to 12 and that should be good all right now on the next step what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer again and this time i'm gonna add the looks by magic bullet uh, red giant magic bullet 
and then I'm just gonna use one of the presets to color grade this uh, design. Okay, this seems good. This seems good. All right. Now, what we can do on the next step is that I'm just going to create a new solar layer and I'm going to call this one optical flares. And I'm going to add the optical flares by video copilot. Let's just change the source type to 3D and let's just reveal it on transparent and then let's just place it on top in here so we can have a sort of a light happening. And we can just uh, decrease the brightness a bit. So this is just a little bit low. And this is done. Now all we need to do is that we need to add the text. So for example, this is going to be blue. And I'm going to write the word blue. Let's just turn it into a nice blue color. Let's just place it in here. Also, let's just make it 3D. So when it moves, it moves with it as well. So let's just uh, set its color to a light blue. And this time I'm going to add the deep glow effect. So let's just go on the text. We cannot sort of add the VFX console. So I just need to go towards the effects and preset tab. So let's just add the deep glow by plugging everything. And let's just reduce its exposure to re radius to 150 and exposure to 0.3. Great. And then we can line the text in here. So I'm just gonna change the font from the bold to a uh, semi bold. And I'm gonna say this is the. Um, So this was something like this. And don't forget to set it on white. And now it is time to animate it. So let's just set it on 3D, add the deep glow, and then easily animate it. So I'm just going to select the text and then in animate menu, I'm just going to add opacity and then let's just set the opacity on zero range selector and we can set a keyframe from start and I'm just going to animate it around here. So this was all. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.